It's Christmas Eve and I do believe we might see Santa soon. His eight reindeer must have a landing gear. They've been flying all night by the light of the bright new Christmas moon. Oh, Santa Claus is jolly because he can fly all around the world. All in one night, and though his schedule is tight, he won't even miss one boy or girl. I know it's late, but I just can't wait till he visits my family. And will he be bringing something for me? Santa never gets lost, still my fingers are crossed that he finds my tree. Oh, Santa Claus is jolly because he can fly all around the world. All in one night, and though the schedule is tight, he won't even miss one boy. It is Christmas Eve day in the Thompson house, and the children are excited. Sarah and Zachary are getting ready to decorate the family's big holiday tree. Out of the attic, they've brought down the colorful tree lights, the delicate decorations, and the red and green tree stand, all of which have been carefully packed away since last Christmas. The scene is quite festive and quite normal, until something very unusual happens. Hey, Doc, look at this. Must be Daddy's these aren't dad's keys. These are old. Really old. What's this tag say, Sarah? No way. This can't be right. Listen to this, Zach. Urgent. If found, please return to Santa Claus North Pole. North Pole? Sarah, maybe Santa dropped these keys under our tree when he brought us our presents last year. Why didn't Dad see when he packed up the tree stand and decorations? I can't believe this! It says urgent, Sarah! Maybe Santa needs these keys to deliver the Christmas presents or something. And that means he needs them now back on Christmas Eve! Oh, this is terrible! If we're gonna get these keys back to Santa tonight, we're gonna need a miracle! Or magic! And lots of it! Wait, Sarah, I know where we can get all the magic we need. Your Heart Knows Harry video? What are you going to do with your Heart Knows Harry video? Not the video, silly. The real guy, the genie. We'll just call Hard Hat Harry. He can take us to the North Pole. He can help us find Santa. Come on, Zach. I don't know anything about getting a genie out of a box. So you better start thinking of something else quickly, or I Wait, gonna... Sarah, we can do this. Really. All we have to do is think up a rhyme kind of thing. I saw some kids do it on one of the videos. It moves Harry's mo mo molecular structure. Well, anyway, I'm not sure how it really works. But they did it, and Harry really came. Now help me. Okay, how do we start? Close your eyes and make your body kind of mushy. Hello, Howard, Hard Hat Harry. How have you been? This is Zachary and Sarah standing in our den. Are you sure this is right? Be quiet. We need your help very much, please. Because my sister and I found these old keys. We've got to take them far away. So hurry, because they got to go today. Oh, Harry, a whole lot of kids are depending on you. So come this second, please. Is it really true? You rang? I mean, you rhymed. It's hard to Harry. Told you we'd come. Why are you not coming to snow, Harry? Oh, this up. I was doing a little experiment in the Swiss Alps. I was trying to find out if every snowflake really is a different shape, and so far I've seen over 3.4 gazillion snowflakes, and no two are the Harry, same, but I... that sounds very interesting, but we don't have time now. Something terrible is happening. <gasps> Did the tree fall on your house? Is anyone underneath here? Hello? No, Harry, that's just our Christmas tree. We have a real emergency. We found these keys going under our tree stand. We think they might belong to Santa Claus. Here, look at this tag. Here, let me see those. 
Oh, no. Jumping genies. Oh, boy. What, Harry? I, I might be wrong, but I think you guys found Santa's magic keys. Santa's magic keys? Yeah. I've heard him talk about it before, but I've never actually seen them until now. Wait a second. You know Santa? You met him? Oh, yeah, we go way back, 1,500 years back. We see each other each year at the gathering of magical beings. <laughs> that Santa, he's a funny guy. He's always carrying around lollipops, hundreds of lollipops. Mm. you think they grow on trees or something. This is great. If you know Santa, you must also know exactly where he lives. Oh, well, uh, not exactly. You see, Santa is what you would call a world-class magical being. He can be everywhere in the world at once or nowhere at all. Oh, guys like that, they're hard to find. But we have to try, Harry. Santa's got to get those keys right away. They're magic. Yeah, I see your point. If these really are Santa's magic keys, he'll need them in his journey across the world tonight. Right, so why are we standing around? Let's go. I guess the best place to start is Santa's workshop in the North Pole. Oh, but in order to get there really fast, we're going to need some powerful genie magic. Are you guys up for it? Absolutely, but hurry, Harry. Okay, well, uh, first, grab some snow and hold it in your hands. Okay, now you have to stand real close while I do this rhyme kind of thing. Told you. Here we go. Off to find Santa. Wait! If we're going to the North Pole, we better be dressed for it. Oh. I almost forgot. Yeah, uh, oh, I better change into something a little more practical, too. Okay, hold on to these. Now, first we have to imagine ourselves as light as little snowflakes. Lighter. Lighter. Into the north wind blow Sarah, Zachary, and me off to find Santa to return his magic key. Now, as fast as fairies, we must fly over the treetops and into the sky. I think it's working. I think I got stuck in a blizzard, woo, somewhere over Iceland, and it spun me around. Woo. Well, anyway, looks like we made it. You don't think there are any wolves or polar bears or anything like that around here, do you, Harry? Oh, don't worry, Sarah. You guys stick close to me, and you'll be safe. Let's get out of here. Ah! Oh, oh, okay, okay. oh, oh, quickly, quickly, oh, 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 good, we made it, oh, oops, what's this thing, oh, freezing cold, well, if my compass is right, we are precisely in North Pole, New York, and that's the pole, Yep, Santa's workshop. Oh, come on, guys. We better hurry and find Santa before he leaves on his journey. But where do we look? There doesn't seem to be anyone around. Well, hmm, Christmas Eve. I bet all of his workers and elves are inside making toys. Let's hurry. We have to find Santa. Oh, come on. <laughs> Well, he's got to be around here somewhere. Oh, well, where could he be? Let's try over here. Yeah. Hurry, quickly. We don't have much time. Look at this, a tree full of lollipops. Hey, they're growing on it. Well, now I know where Santa gets all those lollipops. Hey, he can't be far off now. <laughs> Look over there, I think I see Santa's pie shop. Maybe he's inside. Let's go. I hope Santa's in the toy shop. Well, let's go 
inside and check it out. Yeah. Well, open. Please walk in. Wow. Hey, nice. Hi there, Miss Elf. I'm Hard Hat Harry, and these are my friends Sarah and Zachary Thompson. We're looking for Santa Claus. Not in here. Why are you so sad? You always sent us out. Isn't this supposed to be your happiest day? Not this year. Santa's lost his magic keys, and if he doesn't find them by tonight, none of these toys will be delivered to the children. But look! Ta-da! Sarah and Zachary found Santa's magic keys, and we've come to return them, but we have to find him. Well, bless your jingle bells. You must hurry. You must run. Have you checked Santa's house? It's just over there. We're on our way. Thanks. We'll find Santa. Don't worry. Well, this must be Santa's house. Well, I think so. The sign says, Welcome to Santa's house. It's so cute. Well, let's go inside. Wow. This must be Santa's kitchen. Here's your red cookie. Well, maybe we can have a cookie later, because now we must find Santa. Come on. It must be. And this must be where he wants his feet. You must be right. Uh, hey, check this out. <gasps> cool, look at this. Letters from kids all over the world. Dear St. Nicholas. Dear Chris Kringle. Dear Sinterklaas. Dear Gamala Uko. Who are they writing to? Well, Sarah, they're writing to Santa Claus. Only in different countries, Santa has different names. I never thought of that. Who's there? <gasps> Is that you, Santa dear? Are, are you Mrs. Santa Claus? Why, yes, dear, I am. And who are you? Mm -hmm. I'm Zachary Thompson, and this is my sister, Sarah. And this is Hard Hat Harry. How did you find us way up here at the North Pole? We're so very far from anywhere. Harry's a genie and he brought us here. Hard hat Harry, the genie, of course. I remember Santa mentioning you. You travel all around the world and visit children like Santa. Well, I do what I can, but nobody reaches kids like good old Santa. Good old Santa is a very sad Santa. He's lost his magic keys. We found Santa's magic keys in our house, and we came all the way from Massachusetts to return them. Bless my jingle bells, children. My poor dear Santa's been looking all over for those keys. Where on earth did you find them? Santa must have dropped them under our tree as he was putting out our presents last year. We found them stuck under our tree stand. Oh, that man. Last week he left his cap in Dasher's stall. And the week before that, we found his glasses in the toy shop under a big pile of teddy bears. But I'm afraid we can't stand here chatting. If Santa doesn't get those keys right away, millions of children around the world are not going to get their presents tomorrow. We must hurry. But where do we look? We've been to the toy shop, and now we're here and we can't find him. Goodness, ask Tannenbaum. He may know where Santa is. Tannenbaum? Who's Tannenbaum? Tannenbaum is our talking Christmas tree. He sees everything. He's the tallest tree on the second hill. Maybe he can help you. But that hill is far away, Mrs. Claus. Hold on, kids. It's time for a little North Pole genie magic to Tannenbaum as fast as the winter winds. Oh, my. Too bad the children couldn't stay for hot cocoa. Ah, this must be it. Oh, the tallest tree. Hello? Anyone home? Certainly I'm home. Yeah. My home is me, and I am Tannenbaum, and I am at home in me. Are you at home in you? Well, yeah, sure, I guess. So tell me, trio of travelers, how 
did you come to discover the North Pole? It is not an easy place to find. Only magical beings can find it. Are you magical? Well, I'm Hard Hat Harry, a genie, and these children are Sarah and Zachary Thompson, finder of Santa's magic keys, and we've traveled very far to return them to Santa before Christmas Eve. Ah, brilliant detective work, Sarah and Zachary Thompson. Without those keys, Santa's reindeer cannot fly, his sled cannot circle the world, and Rudolph's nose cannot light up to guide Santa's sleigh tonight. Unfortunately, it may already be too late. Santa has decided to make the trip without his magic keys. He's going to try and circle the world traveling on the ground, but I'm afraid that's quite hopeless. Flying has distinct advantages. Oh, Tad and Rob, what are we going to do? The last time I saw the jolly Saint Nick, my dear, he was not at all jolly, but he was moving swiftly in the direction of the reindeer shed. Are you familiar with the location of the shed? No, this is our first time here. I see. The reindeer shed is in the valley to your right. You mustn't waste a moment. Once Santa and his reindeer have left the magical realm of the North Pole, it will be too late. Okay, kids, stay close to me. More instant travel coming right up. Now to the reindeer shed with the speed of a Siberian snowstorm. <laughs> You must be one of Santa's Elfers. No, I'm Jonas, our Santa's blacksmith. I think I know why you're crying. Santa's magic key. Oh, you hurt. <laughs> it's unbearably sad. Without Santa's magic keys, his reindeer can't fly. There's going to be so many little boys and girls without presents tonight. Those poor reindeer. They got so upset, their antlers didn't grow in. No antlers? There just isn't any way Santa's going to be able to make it to every little boy and girl in one night, traveling on the ground. But these wild. Press your jingle bells, the keys, the keys. Now Santa's reindeer can fly, fly and circle the world, and who knows knows can light. away by now to be able to catch him before he crosses the magical border of the North Pole. Oh, this is just terrible. <laughs> Hello? Excuse-moi, remember me? I may not be Santa Claus, but I'm still Hard Hat Harry, construction genie, holder of magic gravel. World Traveler? Master Magician! And I might still have a few tricks underneath my hard hat. You're magical, why didn't you say so? <laughs> yes, Harry, here's our special magic. We have to stop Santa before he passes the magical realm of the North Pole. Well, before we can bring Santa back, we have to locate him. Um, go hand me that picture of Santa, quick! What kind of magic can you do with this? Well, watch. First, we have to picture where Santa is, and then let him know how much we love him, how much we want to help him. Looks like he hasn't made it to the bottom of the North Pole yet. Here, quick, take this. Give me the keys. Here, Sarah, take those. Okay, now hold on to my hands. And we're going to find Santa as quick as the quickest reindeer can fly. Hurry, Harry, hurry. Oh, Santa, there he is. Over here. Over here. Whoa, Santa. over here. Whoa, Dasher. Whoa, Rudolph. Who's standing there? Hard Hat Harry, is that you? Yeah, it's me, Santa. And these are my friends, Sarah and Zachary Thompson. They found your magic keys. What? The keys? You found my keys? But, but how? You must have dropped them under our tree when you brought us our presents last year. They were cut under our tree stand. We found them just today when we were decorating our tree. Tree stand? Your house? Children, tell me, where do you live? 10 Hastings Drive, Medway, Massachusetts. 
Well, Dancing Elves, of course. Yours was the last house that I visited last year. I should have realized I might have dropped them there. Oh, children, thank you, thank you. But quick, we must hurry and get these keys returned to the reindeer shed. Jump in, jump in. <laughs> They found my keys. The padlock on this box can only be opened by this key. And no magic spell can open it. No magician or wizard of any kind. Only that key. And it can only be opened on one very special single night, Christmas Eve. Now watch. And inside this box is a pouch. And inside the pouch, a magic flying powder. Oh, wow. Magic flying powder? Yes, just a few sprinkles of this on the reindeer's hoof, and off we go. Ho, ho, ho. Julesar, you know what to do with this. Hurry, lad. Hurry. Will the magic flying powder make the reindeer's antlers go back, too? Sarah, by the end of our journey tonight, each of Santa's team will have a marvelous new rack of antlers. But that doesn't matter, because now the reindeer can fly! And now his sled can fly all over the world, and Rudolph's bright nose will light up very bright so he can lead the sleigh tonight. Ho, ho, ho! But Santa, there are two keys on the key ring. One key opens the magic box. What's the other key for? That's very observant, Zachary. Have you ever wondered how Santa delivers presents to all the apartments and houses without chimneys so Santa can slide down? And his other magic key opens the front door to any house, any dwelling, anywhere in the world so Santa can deliver presents to boys and girls everywhere. But Santa, how do you get to every house in the whole world so fast? Oh, now that is a good question. Some of Santa's magic is so secret that even Santa has a hard time explaining it. But if we don't get started now, we'll never get our presents delivered tonight. Me? Since both of you, with Harry's help, saved Christmas this year, I thought you all might like to travel with me tonight to deliver the presents to the boys and girls all over the world. And you'll drop us off at 10 Hastings Street, Medway, Massachusetts? Surely, surely. Oh, cool. Ooh, do you mind if I tag along too? No. Uh, oh. Yeah. Let's go. How's it, everybody? That should do it. Everything's aboard. We should be ready to go. June Lassar, would you tell Mrs. Claus and all my helpers in the North Pole that Sarah and Zachary Thompson, with the help of Hardhead Harry, have found my magic keys? Also tell them that the children across the world will receive their presents tonight. Hooray! Ho, ho, ho. Here we go. Hold on, everyone. I could use one of these magic sleds myself. Ho, ho, ho. Maybe for Christmas next year. Yeah, let's, let's oh. hope so. Maybe a small sleigh. Hey, Santa. How old are you anyway? How old are the wind and the snow, Zachary? Santa, do you and Mrs. Claus have any children? Oh, yes. At last count, we had 2,483,756 children. You see, Sarah, Mrs. Claus and I think of the world's children as our own, especially tonight. Did you ever burn your bottom going down the chimney and put the fire in the fireplace? No, never, Zach. When we land on a roof, Rudolph blows his magic breath down the chimney. 
That puts any fire out just long enough for me to slide down, deliver the present, and disappear. Happy holidays to all! And to all a good night! Ho, ho, ho! Merry, Merry Christmas! Christmas! It's Christmas Eve and I do believe we might see Santa soon. His eight reindeer must have a landing gear. They've been flying all night by the light of the bright new Christmas moon. Oh, Santa Claus is jolly because he can fly all around the world. All in one night, and though his schedule is tight, he won't even miss one boy or girl. I know it's late, but I just can't wait till he Something for me, Santa never gets lost. Still, my fingers are crossed that he finds my tree. Oh, Santa Claus is jolly because he can fly all around the world. All in one night, and though the schedule is tight, he won't even miss one boy. In my real life adventure videos. In my real life lumberjack adventure, my friends Rachel and Dustin join me on a trip to the forest to see actual lumberjacks at work. Together, we'll watch as the loggers cut down gigantic trees with powerful saws, then haul the handy logs to the sawmill where they're cut into boards. We'll learn about the special equipment loggers use to get their job done from beginning to end. Then I'll show you how foresters replenish our forests by planting more trees. After that, we're off to see loggers at play in the forestry games where they saw, climb, and log roll. Like in the old days, just for fun. Why, they even let me try my skills on the lumber pole. So join us for a great outdoor adventure. Hear that? That's the roar of a 3,000 pound monster that uses tires over five feet tall and a supercharged engine to go just about anywhere it wants. And you can go with it. Just join me and my friends Mark and Hillary in real life monster trucks and get ready to climb on board the beast. You'll even meet a monster maker and see what it takes to turn a truck into a monster. From monster building to monster riding to monster truck racing, what we do, you can do too when you join us in our monster truck adventure. Do you ever wonder about all the different tools and equipment real mechanics use to work on cars? Or what it would be like to go through a car wash the way a car does? Find out when you join me and my friends Darren and Amy in my real life car mechanic adventure. From changing the oil to changing a tire, from repairing the engine to refueling the gas tank, together we'll explore how real mechanics keep our cars running smoothly and safely. Next, we'll see what a real car wash is like from the inside looking out. To be sprayed, soaked, scrubbed, and then dried by hurricane-like winds. So join me in my car mechanic adventure. Ever want to learn how to build something really big? Then join me, Hard Hat Harry, along with my friends Eric and Kimberly, as we help build a house from the ground up. You'll be there with us as a giant tractor levels the ground and skilled workers pour our house's cement foundation. We'll measure, 
cut, hammer, and nail frames, construct roofs, and insulate walls. We'll also learn how electricians wire a house and how plumbing works. You'll even see me, Hard Hat Harry, show painters how to paint, genie style. So join me and my friends in Hard Hat Harry's real-life house construction. And I'll even let you take a peek inside my magical traveling thermos box. I'll be looking for you. Motorcycles! They roar, they soar, they fly sky high. Come join me in my Hard Hat Harry motorcycle video. Brody and Jessica, my two friends, ride the motorcycles with the best of the bikers. We check out some really cool bikes. Road bikes, dirt bikes, Yamahas, and Harleys. We even talk to the people who customize motorcycles and make them really hot. Then we tour the exciting world of motorcycle racing. We go off to the speedway races, the endurance races, and even the kids' motocross. So come on, put on your helmet, your leather jacket, and gloves, and join me in my new motorcycle video. Let's ride! Ever want to climb inside armored vehicles and ride on some of the toughest go-anywhere, do-anything vehicles ever made? Well, now you can, when along with my friends Judy and Chad, we explore the biggest, speedest, coolest vehicles ever built in Hard Hat Harry's real-life military vehicles adventure. Mount up and move out is the order of the day as we get up close, on top, and inside some of today's biggest, strongest, most exciting military vehicles that do everything from building roads, towing tanks, and carrying weapons to purifying water. So join us as we join the military and become part of the action as we explore real-life military vehicles. Come take off and join me in my real-life helicopter adventure. My friends Cindy and Taylor climb on board and we learn to fly a whirlybird. A real pilot shows us how to work the controls and operate the joystick. Then we are up, up and away. We discover some unique helicopters. Some helicopters carry people, some carry cargo, some drop off people, and some drop off trucks. We see helicopters that take off from ships and helicopters that can land on top of buildings or on top of snowy mountains. And in my real-life helicopter video, we go see how a TV news helicopter films the day's headlines. It's a spectacular view from way up here. You'll feel like you're on top of the world. So come fly with me. It's one of my favorite ways to fly. We start off in the mountains in my real-life rescue video and end up over the ocean in a helicopter with the Coast Guard. On the beach, we meet up with lifeguards as they rush to save swimmers. And on the streets, we see the ins and outs of ambulances and learn how all the fascinating equipment is used to respond to emergencies. And when disasters happen, the volunteers of the American Red Cross and their amazing vehicles are always there to help out. And it's not only people who respond to disasters. In my real-life rescue video, we meet rescue dogs. It's the rescue dogs who are able to sniff out lost people, even in the snow. So come and join me in my real-life rescue video and meet some real heroes. And you don't want to miss my real-life farm equipment video. Remember Jennifer from our truck adventure? Well, this time she's back with her brother, Thomas. Being a little hungry, we all meet at a fruit stand and end up on a farm. We explore all types of farm equipment. Tractors, combines, cultivators, and the unusual tree shaker, which they use to harvest nuts. Hey, we'll feed a dairy cow, see how hay is grown in bales, and visit a milking parlor. Then we'll head south to see cotton picks, and as a special treat, you'll see if a genie can juggle. Aw, nuts! We have lots of fun on every one of these exciting adventures, and we learn lots of cool stuff. And there's lots more to come, so I can't wait to see you on my next adventure.